hello uh, in this uh, video i am going to explain uh, the lumped elements matching technique that we use in transmission lines okay so the question that is given to us is zl is equal to 10 minus j 10 ohms zo is equal to 50 ohms so the step that we are going to do is first we have to uh, take zl bar that is nothing but zl upon zo so that will be equal to 10 by 50 that will give me 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2 minus j 0 0.2 ohms next we plot this point zl on the smith chart uh, also consider this is the zy smith chart that we are going to use if you see the ZY Smith chart, it has these circles. These circles are, uh, if you consider these as uh, Z circles or what we call as resistance circles, then the circles that are over here, these are the dotted circles. This will be, this will become your conductance circle. If these are resistance circles, then these are conductance circles. So standard, it is a standard to use these as a resistance circle and these as conductance circle. You can also change them actually. You can also use these as resistance and these as conductance. But usually this is what is used. This as resistance, this as conductance circles. Okay. Next is, first we plot this point. So when we plot this point, you can see that here two scales are given one scale is above that is over here 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 this is a scale and the other scale is over here 50 20 10 0 0.5 4 like that so when we are considering this as resistance circle and this as conductance circle we have to follow the upper scale so we, we will always follow the upper scale for our plot the same goes over here when we see the uh, impedance value uh, we have to that is the imaginary part uh, the re reactance value actually so here you have to see the upper part that is this point to this point one this is to be seen not the down ones that is this 0 0.5 and this is not to be seen you have to see this so here i have to plot 0 0.2 minus j 0 0.2 so what i will see is over here see i can see 0 0.2 over here since it is minus i will go down i will go down till i get up see here that is 0 0.2 so hence this becomes my point so this is the point that i got next uh, thing that I need to do is just connect this point to the center over here this center is nothing but the ZO value in Smith chart whatever we plot we plot it normalized that is we uh, divide it by Z0 that is ZO that is the transmitting line transmission line impedance ZO so therefore we can see if ZO upon ZO means ZO upon ZO is equal to 1 hence the point in Smith chart that is over here that is 1 corresponds to the ZO impedance so ZO impedance will always be found on the center so in order to match uh, this impedance to here we have to first follow certain rules the rules are as follows if you are on the resistance circle that is if you move on the resistance circle this is the resistance these are the resistance circle over here these these so if you move clockwise on the resistance circle you have to add a series inductor if you move anti-clockwise in a resistance circle you have to add a series capacitor Similarly, if you move on the conductance circle, the conductance circles are these, the dotted circles. So, if you move on the conductance circle clockwise, you have to add a parallel capacitor. Anti-clockwise, you have to add a parallel inductor. Okay. So, this is what we needed to know. So, now, 
what we need to do is we need to join a path from here to here so one path can be like this you can only move on the resistance circle see here i can see this is a huge resistance circle that is passing through this point zl that was my point so here i'll move on the resistance circle then from here i can go like this so this is one of the path that i have found i'll move from here like this so through this path i can go to the center another path that i can find is i'll move here from here i will come back to the center so these are two independent path independent path through which from the point i can come back to the center so we can consider any of the path for our calculations so let us consider this path so here i can see i was moving on this circle and at this point now i have changed my circle that is from this circle i was going on this circle now i am going on this circle that is from the resistance circle i am moving on the conductance circle so first let me name this point let me name this point as say z2 bar and let us see what are the coordinates of the z2 bar that is what is the impedance of the z2 bar i can see it is 0.2 and 0.4 0.2 0 0.4 so i got z2 bar is equal to 0.2 plus 0.4j and then afterwards after this point i come back at the center that is 1 so whatever technique is final minus initial that is when i am uh, going on this path uh also when i'm going on this path when i'm going on this path i can see i'm on the resistance circle this is the resistance circle and from here to here i'm going clockwise direction in clockwise direction hence i can see resistance circle clockwise i'll have to add a series inductor then from here i'm going in again clockwise direction at the conductance circle moving on the conductance circle clockwise direction hence i'll have to add a capacitor in parallel so i'll have to add a capacitor in parallel so here i'll have my zl and this is the transmission line and these are the components the here is the impedance zo so now the next thing is to find the values of these components so to find the values what we do is first we are traveling from here to here so what is our rule is final minus initial the final point over here is z2 so xl that is this impedance will be equal to z2 bar minus zl bar where this is z2 and this is zl final minus initial so i have z2 is equal to 0.2 plus 0.4 j i have seen over here and zl is equal to 0.2 minus j 0.2 0.2 Zero point two minus J zero point two, so is minus uh, here it is a minus so minus zero point two minus minus plus zero point two J, so I can see these both cancel out and the answer that I get is zero point six J. Excel. So now Excel I can write as J omega L. That is equal to zero point six J. I can cancel out the Js. 
so omega l is equal to 0 0.6 well this is l normalized so l normalized is equal to 0 0.6 upon omega so that is equal to 0 0.6 upon 2 pi f okay i forgot to mention we had also give uh, are given with the frequency that is 1 gigahertz that is equal to 1 into 10 raised to 9 hertz giga is 10 raised to 9 hertz so here i'll get 0 0.6 upon 2 into pi into 1 into 10 raised to 9 hertz so so the answer comes around 3.18 into 10 raised to minus 11 so since this is l normalized in order to find l l is equal to l normalized upon z naught sorry into z naught so that is equal to this value into 50 into 50 because z naught is equal to 50 i have seen over here that is given so therefore l is nothing but 1.59 into 10 raised to minus 9 so that comes around 1.59 nano henry so we got the value 1.59 nano henry next you have to find the value of the capacitor to find the value of the capacitor we have to follow this path same thing final minus initial so final value over here is 1 here there is 1 so I'll get xc is equal to 1 minus z2 over here z2 final minus initial 1 minus z2 so that is equal to 1 minus z2 is 0 0.2 plus that becomes minus 0 0.4 j so here I will get 0 0.8 minus 0 0.4 j so now actually this 0 0.8 corresponds to the real term so that indicates term of a resistance this can be neglected as we just want the imaginary part of the capacitive part so this indicates the capacitive part so we will neglect the real part so we have 1 upon j omega c we can write xc as 1 upon j omega c is equal to minus 0 0.4 j now when you multiply divide by j that is j upon here that will become j square I am just multiply dividing by j so here j square is equal to minus 1 so this will go and I will have a minus sign over here so minus minus cut j j cut so I got c is equal to uh, c will go over here and this will come down so 1 upon omega into 0 0.4 next what i have to do is uh, this is also in the normalized value of c actually is equal to 1 upon 2 pi f into 0.4 so that comes around that comes around 3.97 into 10 raised to minus 10 now the value of c is equal to c bar upon z naught remember for zl you multiply uh, z z o and for c you divide by z o this is a point that is to be remembered so hence we get the value of capacitor that is 7.94 into 10 raised to minus 12 so that comes around 7.94 pico farad so here i can write 7.94 pico so when I uh, introduce these two lumped elements uh, in series and in parallel with the ZL I can see that this ZL can be matched with the ZO that was my requirement 
and here these are the important thing important thing to remember resistance circle clockwise series inductor anti clockwise series capacitor conductance clockwise parallel capacitor anti clockwise parallel you see conductance deals with parallel hence everything is parallel resistance deal with series hence everything in series just remember clockwise inductor anti clockwise capacitor and the opposite is over here this is a smith part this was the path that we followed we can also follow this path and do the same things we'll have different values over here different components but that is also another solution that is also right thank you